If Ellie sets her mind on something, she will do it, like jumping out of a plane. She's always determined to get what she wants and she always gets everybody motivated, motivated and determined to do things. Listen. Fearless Ellie believes the family is lacking in motivation and discipline. So she's enrolled them onto an event sure to shock them out of their slumber. Tough mudder. We haven't done training for a long time, have we? No. To be fair, me personally, I do a lot of flights of stairs a day. <laughs> Keeping fit while I walk upstairs. <laughs> do you just go like this? But, yeah, if you like. And then just like, you know. Noel! You can't take him seriously, can you? <laughs> Come on, Noel, show us how it's done. Oh, my God! Tough mudder is as hard as it gets. I hadn't realised how unfit we are. It's going to take an absolute miracle to get around 5K course at this rate. My legs are a bit achy now that I've oh. done all them squats. Right. Go on, love, you have a sit down. It's quite romantic, isn't it? What we'd heard about Tough Mud, it was like full of these super fit yeah, gym goers, like yeah. proper athletes. The last thing you want to do is be last, isn't it? That is a big fear, like, are we going to be last? <laughs> and they're off. Five kilometres round the most devilishly constructed obstacles known to civilization. <laughs> it's Ellie first, <laughs> then Sue, <laughs> then Amy, and finally Noel. So far, so good. Teamwork seems to be working, doesn't it? <laughs> Whilst the young ones embrace the mud, <laughs> the older ones are trying their best to stay out of it. So there was like a muddy mile. But the bottom of it was like what? two foot deep, slurry. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Tough Mudder is about to get, well, tougher. Ellie's absolutely freezing. Oh, it's She's cold. Got all her knees. She's cut her arms and her hands. Shivering. But we're nearly there. Should we get yeah. moving? Standing in their way is their biggest challenge yet. There's a big wall at the start, so it's teamwork to get up the wall, I think. <laughs> Scaling this monster mountain will require this family of individuals to work as a team like never before. That was definitely scary because you are really high up and there's so many people going over it. You looked at the bottom, it didn't look so bad, but it but was really were... high, mm. wasn't it? My legs were like jelly coming back down mm. again. The finish line is in sight. That is just behind the curtain of electrified wires. Ready? See, people were getting like zapped by it and how much it was hurting them that I was thinking, oh my goodness. Listen, no, you're superheroes, you're so <laughs> but they've done it. <laughs> we had to like push each other up on loads of different things. We're definitely going to do it again. Sue might not agree when she sees the muddy washing pile. This time. I need a copy of your UK driving license. Daniel's move to Australia is threatened. Daniel is afraid of driving. Wow. Because of a life-changing event. I couldn't get the seatbelt off. Definitely the scariest thing that I've been through. How do you something I've always wanted to do? Could Amy's fear of people... I just don't like conversation in general, really. ..finish her career before it's even started? Hairdressing, you've got to have good conversational skills. And who's tough enough? and muddy enough to take on Ellie's challenge. Tough Mudder makes grown men and women cry. I had a word with one of my stylist friends. She's giving Amy the chance to work in one of the best salons in the area. How can we hear Lancaster, please? Sue's worried that Amy's quiet awkwardness around customers could hamper her chances of success. I'm definitely nervous to do my first real client. So Super Sue gave us some advice. I've had a heart to heart with my mum and I think my awkwardness is just because I just don't have anything interesting to say. So when she comes in, take a jacket, hang a jacket up there and then say to her, come and take a seat. This is your gown. Cheryl is the manager and she will be judging Amy's performance. Hey, yeah, let's take your coat for you. Amy's first ever paying customer has arrived. She's a regular with high expectations of good service. So what is it we're having today then? Daniel is afraid of driving, so I'm just going to spring it on him. 
Let you do a bit of driving, all right. Daniel hasn't driven since his accident, but Noel is hoping today that will change. If he's still afraid to drive, his Australian dream could be over. No, I don't think I want to drive, to be honest. No, I'm, I'll, I'll let you drive. You keep driving. Noel's plan hasn't worked. But if Daniel wants to be the first Radford to emigrate, he's running out of time. There's only a week to go to the Tough Mudder Endurance event. I can't hold it. <laughs> Fearless Ellie is hard at work preparing for the challenging 5K course. Get a little bit more healthy, get the old heart yeah. pumping again. We haven't done training for a long time, have we? No. To be fair, me personally, I do a lot of flights of stairs a day. <laughs> Keeping fit while I walk upstairs. <laughs> Time is running out. For Noel and Sue, this promises to be tough. <coughs> Very tough. I hate running. <laughs> <laughs>